Hello. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try and um, configure ODE with Visual Studio 2008 to see how that goes. So we'll try that for the first time. Um, so the first thing I need to do is open up um, the command window and go to the build directory uh, to use this pre-make build environment. Um, so if I do pre-make help, I'll get all the different options. So what I would like to do is build it um, with the demos using Visual Studio 2008. So it's generated all the project files. So now if I go into the build, there's a 2008 directory now. So I can open that up and open up uh, my ODE solution in my brand new Visual Studio 2008. So I'll try just building uh, ODE, oops, and uh, I should cancel that because what I want to do is build with single precision as a DLL, first the debug version, so let's do that. Um, PAL does support double precision, but we're not going to use that uh, right now. Okay, it's finished compiling. Um, we might just try a little uh, sample program here just to make sure it does work. And there we have ODE up and running. So it's all very good. Okay, so the other thing we need for PAL is of course the release build. So release single DLL again. Um, you can also just build the library versions, um, but I prefer the DLLs. Okay, so that's uh, ODE debug and release build completed. Um, Alright, so we can close that. And we don't need the console window anymore, so let's give a shot to running CMake. So we'll hit the configure button and this time we're going to be choosing Visual Studio 9 2008. Press OK. First time I've tried this. OK, and we're just going to be trying it with ODE for today. Uh, we don't need any of these extras, so let's turn them off. OK, so I press the configure button and it's managed to find the ODE, again the standard STL issue. Yep, and now it's finished configuring everything. Let's hit configure again and press OK. And it should have generated my uh, files for PAL. So OK, now I've got my 2009, 2008, uh, just your 9 edition. Let's load that up. Um, and we'll give that a shot in the debug mode. So it's compiling libpal, and then it should go on to compiling libpal ODE. Ooh. We seem to have had some issues. Okay, so I need to clean the solution to make sure nothing's left from the uh, Visual Studio 2005 build. Um, and then let's try building uh, libpal ODE. So it's going to build the libpal library. And now building libpal ODE and that was successful. So let's try the demo. Build the test library. And it's building the demos. Um, so while it's doing that I might check the correct directory for the debug build. I'm building a debug version here. Um, and what I need to do is set the correct um, debugging directory the working directory in here. As you can see, uh, otherwise when I try and run uh, the demo it won't find the DLLs. So if I press F5 I can now run my demo program. Ooh, there seems to have been some issues. So 
So uh, that might be because there was some older stuff left in here. So I'll just delete all that from when I had Visual Studio 2005 do the build. Um, because I'll end up with some problems with the wrong versions of libraries and whatnot. So we'll just rebuild uh, the ODE library, rebuild that demo program. So we don't have the old uh, ODE applications in there, so everything's from today now. If I try and run it, that's much more successful. So now I can run the ODE uh, object dropping and drop different kinds of objects in my scene. And that concludes the ODE with Visual Studio 2008 or Visual Studio or Visual C9 uh, example. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.